New this morning, the U.S. shooting down a missile over the Red Sea fired by Houthi fighters in Yemen. This follows the U.S. and its allies launching retaliatory airstrikes in response to the Houthis' brazen assaults on commercial ships in the region over the fighting in Gaza. Uh, Robert Sherman, live for us in Tel Aviv with more. Robert. Yeah, Adrian, on Friday and Saturday, we saw the U.S. and the U.K. carrying out dozens of strikes on Houthi positions throughout Yemen. And ever since then, the Houthis have been vowing to retaliate. They're making good on their progress with this report of this missile being shot down, targeting a U.S. ship. Uh, but the U.S. says that they were able to fend off that attack and shoot that missile down. But it just underscores the tension that you are seeing in the region here and the way that this has really escalated in the last couple of weeks. And what we've heard from the Houthi leadership is they have no intention of backing down anytime soon. Listen to this. We are here, ready, and present. By the permission of God, America and its arrogance and Britain will drown in the Red Sea. The Yemeni people are ready and prepared to take honorable and sincere positions in this battle, which is the most truthful of battles. Meanwhile, the Israeli say an anti-tank missile fired by Hezbollah killed two civilians, a mother and her son, on Sunday. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah echoing his support for the Houthis in Yemen, vowing to keep up the attacks on Israel's northern border with Lebanon as long as the war in Gaza continues. The one who should be afraid of war, the one who should be scared of war is Israel, the government of the enemy, the people of the enemy, and its settlers. They are the ones who should be afraid of going to war with Lebanon. Meanwhile, back here in Israel, this weekend marked 100 days hostages have been held in Gaza, over 130 still being held in captivity by the latest account, according to the prime minister's office. And there is growing calls for those hostages to be released and for the Israeli government to do more, as many fear that time is running out. Marky. Yeah, hard to believe we've hit that 100-day marker. Robert Sherman live in Tel Aviv this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.